Hi, this is Furu Yabari. In this video, we are going to do the unboxing of this ISO monitor, which is Color Edge CG2730. But before that, I would love to say some few words about why I choose the ISO monitor. One of the problems we often have during photo editing, especially when we receive our prints from labs or print our own images, is the colors we see on our monitors are somehow different, darker, or even brighter. There are so many variables involved to make sure we have a final product, a print that is exactly as we have imagined and produced, from choosing the right color space and the bitrate to use the right paper and profile for printing the images. But the keystone and the most important part of all this is to choose the right monitor, which we can trust is calibrated and choose the right color to us, as it is our own only window to the image. ISO is one of the most high-end monitors in photography and videography, and one of the most accurate monitors in color production with a wide gamut. Using ISO, I'm assured that my monitor is telling me the truth about the color, shadow, and highlight details. It's consistent and uniform from edge to edge, and it lasts long without sacrificing any of these key important factors. So now, let's do the exciting part, which is the unboxing. This is my husband, Afshin. I asked him to help me for the unboxing. This must be the hood, uh, which helps reduce the glare if you have down lights uh, in your working environment. And more importantly, it gives you more accurate color by blocking the reflections from the surrounding objects. So this is the Colorage CG2730 manual. Then we have the S-Spring Cleaner Kit, which is nice. Which is awesome. We have a DVI cable for monitor. We have one HDMI cable. This is a USB data cable for calibration. Mm -hmm. And here we have a power cord. And this is the monitor itself. All right, let's do this. Let's take this out. So we can take this out either by holding from bottom of the monitor or there is actually a uh, handle here we can carefully pull out and then take the whole thing out uh, so what we have here is the measurement sheet of uh, the uh, test mm -hmm. it contains all the information about the values of the test that it came uh, out and uh, to make sure that it has the uh, accurate color reproduction, and this is uh, all the results. Setting up the monitor is pretty straightforward. First, we need to remove this protection seat which covers the self-calibration device. Then connect the monitor cable, USB cable, connect the power cable.
Now I would like to share with you a bit of my post-production in one of my images I've taken in my recent photo shoot and show you how my ISO monitor helps me in my process. So let's start. I use Capture One for quick editing of my images and after that normally I bring them to uh, Photoshop for more editing. Let's first choose a photo that I'm pretty happy uh, with the pose and expression. I really like them but still I'm not happy with, the, with her expression. So let's see, I remember I took the one. Yep, yeah, it's this one. So I choose this one. I'm happy with the light on her face, the hand placement and her expression and the body and how she pose her feet. So before to bring that one, I just play a bit with uh, the exposure. And also I want to make the contrast a bit up and bring back the highlight for the harsh spot on her face. Now I'm going to open the image on Photoshop PSD in Profoto profile. My first step is duplicate my background layer uh, because I um, I never ever work on my background layer. I would prefer to keep that one uh, safe. So with Command J, I make the new layer of my background. We have some distracting areas uh, around here, like a bit of softbox, the wall and stand. So uh, I'd like to very quick remove and fix those areas. Now using Glasso tool, I select those areas and using content aware field, I let Photoshop to fix those areas for me roughly. Shift F5 or bring content aware and place OK. Around here, I'm doing it very roughly. It's not bad. Okay, it's done. Before I start the skin uh, retouching or color uh, grading, I always check the image and make a plan for which areas I need to work on. Here I have some dark areas around um, the hair and uh, hand and part of the left side of her face. Also, uh, I have uh, these dark areas around her legs here as well. First thing I realized after uh, switching to ISO was that these details were missing in my um, previous monitor. So my retouching was not accurate. Now I know details are there and I can decide how much I want to bring them back without making my image flat. I mostly use Dodge and Burn for skin retouching, um, uh, bringing back details or adjusting highlights and smoothing texture uh, like uh, blemishes uh, or other part of the skin which I wanted to be more smoother. To create a Dodge mask, I select the curve adjustment from here, then using a uh, click. Uh, and drag from here. I choose the area I want to make it lighter, somewhere like, like around here. And I want to bring back some details and drag off. Now I invert the mask by Command I and start brushing with a low flow like 8%. Those areas I want to bring back. 
all the details. around hair here, a bit of light in her eyes, and I want to just reduce this darkness around her eye. Make her skin a bit more smoother. As I said, I want to just smooth blemishes a bit. Make her the skin texture is a bit more smoother. On her chest. Enhance the lighting on her arm. Even I can make these darker spots around here a bit smoother as well. As I said, we have some dark area in her leg. Very smooth and slowly I just brush it. Now I'll do the same approach for creating the burn mask. So I choose care from adjustment and choose the brightest spot in her face, in her skin, could be here or here, but I would prefer to choose from her face and drag it down. Invert the mask, comma and eye and start brushing. On here, it's really it has a harsh light and is a bit eye catching, so I can just make it a bit invisible. The background is a bit bright. I would love to make it a bit darker. So I know this uh, seems like a minor change and you probably cannot notice uh, in the video but if I turn off and uh, on those layers uh, you will probably be able to see the difference. So let's do it. Especially in her face. And the result is noticeable already. Simply using dodge and burn, we emphasize light and shadow even more.
Here's uh, the before and after of this image. The majority of my editing in the final image was uh, only dodge and burn and color toning to give more depth to the image. I wanted to edit this image quite dark and modern. And as my ISO can display all the shadow details in my image, it gives me the confidence to go as far as I want, knowing that using um, custom display profiles for my ISO, for any paper I can print, the image accurately without losing any detail. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you found this video informative.